Hello everyone, today I going to explain if we out of local area network with the MBR how we monitor our cameras online. First we need to make sure the browser we using IE Internet Explorer because if you are using other browser it may be the system will not work well. So after that, we um, input this website in our IE. The website is the, over here, www.e-cnet.com. Then the interface we can see is here, and then we use the username login. After username login, we can see there is a new account for everyone. The first time you use this uh, system, we click new account to register one account. So we click agree and we import a username. And we put one password. Confirm card password. Capture. Then we choose submit. Register successfully. Okay, then we can use this username login. After we log in, we can come to see here a uh, one uh, black color button. We click Add Device. And this function, and we um, add our MVR into this uh, system. So. Just wait because internet speed is not very fast. Okay, then we have to put a cloud ID. Where we can get this cloud ID, we have to go back to our MVR main system and on the, the system setup, network setup, there's our cloud ID you can see. Okay, here we go. Um, I come back to the TV and the, then I click the system setup and go in the network setup. Here we can see the cloud P2P, that is our cloud ID. So we just uh, need to remember it or write it down so later we can use it to add uh, our device into CMS system. Now I import my cloud ID, just now I write down. And the device set name you can define to anyone. Just uh, I define it one. And device username. Device and username. 
we just check our MVR. When we set up our MVR, the initial uh, username is admin. But if later on you already uh, changed your username, so you just put uh, you changed the username. And in my case, I didn't change, so I just input the initial username and the next device password. And also, if you after MVR setup, you already changed the password, so you have to import this changed password. And if you maintain the same with the system, then the initial password is empty. We just keep we just keep it empty. Um, here I changed my password, so I will put my password here. Then we click add. Uh, after add, uh, we can see in our disk box, the user device already um, well added and the user device this is. Okay, then we can go to live online. Live online, this interface will show the camera. Will show the camera windows. It will take a while. Okay, now we come into the interface live online. That is a camera windows. Until now it's empty, but it's no worry. We can go to the camera one. We can go to camera list. Now we see this device. We added this device and then we click open or. After click open or you can see the cameras display on the screen. In these steps, some people may be needed to operate a few times, but be patient, it will work fine. Because this uh, system have to figure out with our MVR, sometimes it, the internet connect is not so fast, so you may be wait for a while, or you also at the same time you click you just need to click uh, camera list your device open or few times just to operate a few times and also sometimes it um especially for the first time using this system it may come out one box to ask you allow the one uh, control control model to running in your computer you just uh, uh, let it allowed. That's the first time you send. You have to let it this um, uh, models run in your computer. And then after all, we can go do a test. We double click, enlarge this video, and then we can see it very well. In the bottom, we can shift to four windows, also nine windows. It's very easy to monitor, especially when you are far away, your home, your office, you want to check what's going on, and the you are far away, so you can use this IE a remote monitor to check what's going on around this camera those cameras that would be very helpful and the whole system you set up only takes you maybe two to three minutes if it that internet some issues happened that you cannot see the cameras you just need to be uh, patient to operate a few a few more times Sometimes maybe you can exist first and then again login to kind of like a refresh 
um, after all those steps, it, it will work fine. So thank you for your watching this video. And the, if you have any questions, you can also ask the seller's customer service. And I hope you have a nice day.